Hey y'all, it's your girl Steph. And I'm back with another video. Hey, 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 hey. Beckity, beckity, beck, man. <laughs> I'm just playing with y'all. But let me tell y'all how. I'm just sitting here reminiscing. Like, I don't know why, but. Y'all, I gotta do my hair. Look at this. What is that? What is that? What is that? Anyways. So let me tell y'all how. Hold on, let me close my door. But alright, let me tell y'all how. I'm just sitting here reminiscing. Like, alright, first of all, no earrings, nothing, whatever. Natural beauty is the best beauty. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, so. For whatever reason, I was just sitting here thinking about when I was eight years old. So. <laughs> This was like one of the first really significant years of my life that I think I can really remember a lot from. So I was eight in what, um, a long, long time ago. But when I was eight years old, y'all, me, my mother, my father, my older brother, and my younger brother and sister, at the time, it was only four of us. We moved to a different part of the city that we lived in. So it was still the same city that I was born and raised in, but it was a different part. So <laughs> this year was like, this year that we lived in this specific house, it was like so much going on, like so much. You know, like I can't even tell y'all everything, but I was thinking about how um, first of all, I'm eating some ice cream and some apple pie. I'm judging. But. So, we moved to this specific city. It was the four children and mom and dad. So, this one. So, I was eight years old. Remind you, I was eight years old at the time. My brother is six years older than me. And then my younger siblings, they were one and two at the time. So they were babies. So my mom had her hands full. My dad was always at work. And she had her hands full. So me being an eight-year-old, like, I'm just, I'm trying to, you know, be a big girl and help out a little bit. So this one specific day, like, I remember wanting some cereal real bad. <laughs> like, I don't remember if it was in the morning or what. But remind you, I'm, okay, y'all don't know. But I was a picky eater. Sorry, y'all. The kids is interrupting me. But, alright. So, I had wanted some cereal real bad. So, I remember. I went downstairs. I went in the kitchen. Um, I got my bowl. I clomped. I think I needed to use a chair to, like, get up into the cabinet to get my bowl. You know. So, I went through all the trouble of getting my bowl. And finding my spoon. And getting my cereal. I remember it was kicks. Do y'all re like y'all know what kicks are, right? So <laughs> I wanted some kicks. We had the kicks in the house. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna fix my bowl of cereal. So I went through the trouble of getting the dishes out. I set everything up on the table, poured my kicks into the bowl, right? And like I wanted the cereal real bad, y'all. <laughs> so I got my kicks, and you know, kicks don't really have that much of a flavor, so I went in, I went in the cabinet or wherever, and I got the sugar, right? What I thought was the sugar. So, <laughs> sprinkled it all around my cereal in the bowl, went and got the milk, <laughs> put the milk in my bowl, got my spoon, sat down, got real comfortable at the table, y'all. I don't know where everybody else was at the house, but remind you, I'm eight years old, and this is what I'm doing, right? Fixing a bowl of cereal, ain't nothing wrong with it. So, I'm sitting at the table, real comfortable. I go and get me a nice big scoop out, make sure I got some of my sugar out the bottom of the bowl, because you know how it sinks to the bottom, and it's real good with the milk, you know. Put a nice big spoonful in my mouth, y'all. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It was salt. 
Y'all, I just ate salty cereal. It was supposed to be sugary, not salty. But oh my God, let me tell y'all. I was so disgusted, disappointed. Like I was just, I was done. I was done. I was pissed. Like, like Stephanie, you, you couldn't tell that that was salt, not sugar. Like, y'all make the mistake of doing that. If y'all want something really bad and you want it to taste a certain way, you expect it to taste a certain way, like y'all. Salt, though. Salt. And then I think I remember trying to, like, sneak and dump it out after being so disappointed. I don't even think I went back for more cereal and tried to get the right thing instead. Like, I don't know how I made this mistake, but I still remember to this day, y'all. And I'm, like, forever, forever how many years older then eight years old, like, <laughs> but y'all, I was disappointed, like, and that's that, like, some other things happened in this, in this year of living in this different part of the city, and maybe I can do another story time on that, but y'all, like, I just was really just thinking about that, like, how I really poured a whole bunch of salt in my cereal, and I ate it, like, ew, ew. Like, that's gross. <laughs> so disappointed. But, yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you got a nice little laugh. But this is, like, really a true story. And it's not the only, like, messed up thing that happened during this year. So, if y'all want to hear some more, make sure y'all comment below. Like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Ew.